This morning's leaving cert higher level maths paper two was an awful lot more difficult than the corresponding paper on Friday afternoon paper one. Indeed, many students may have walked out of that exam feeling quite shell-shocked. Um, the difference in standard really occurred in section A more than in section B. Uh, section A uh, wasn't uniformly hard. There were two uh, initial questions, question one and question two, which were quite nice and indeed may have given a mistaking uh, belief to many students that it was going to be a repeated Friday afternoon. But actually, as they headed into question three and then question four, question five, uh, one part of each of those at least was very difficult and both parts of question six were very difficult, which meant the latter half of section A was, would have been very challenging for almost everybody. Section B, on the other hand, then, um, was a little bit easier. Uh, there was a standard question on a prism in question seven. Um, the, 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 the base of the prism was um, a, a segment of a circle and you were guided through it in a very straightforward way. It was really only um, the last part of section B that would have been challenging, but you could have got an awful lot of marks without necessarily have picking up that, the last few marks for that. Question eight then was a standard question on inferential statistics. And again, most of the parts of that question were fine. It was just the final part of the question that involved working back from a p-value to an actual, an actual number. Um, and the final question then was the much anticipated trigonometry question, which is there almost every year. And again, all the early parts of that question were fine. Uh, it was just really the last part which turned into a 3D problem that, that would, have, would have caught a lot of students out. But all in all, yes, a tougher paper than on, on Friday, but there were a, a number of parts there where you probably did better than you thought you were going to do. And, and because it was a hard paper, that would be taken into account in the marking scheme. So don't despair, no matter how badly you feel you did, you probably picked up a whole load of marks in different places that you may not even be aware of. And anyway, maths is now over, and all I can say to you is best of luck in your remaining exams.